Hi friends, today we're going to do a little fraction review and talk about how to compare fractions using fraction strips. The number on the bottom is called the denominator. It represents the number of equal parts of a whole. The number on top is called the numerator and that represents how many parts of that whole we're talking about. Let's look at an example. This circle is divided into three equal parts. One, two, three. So that is our denominator. Now let's look at this circle after removing a third of it. Good. The question is, how many parts of this circle remain? One, two. Two parts of this circle are being considered. So two is our numerator. Let's look at another example. We've got this delicious Kit Kat bar here, and a Kit Kat is made up of four equal parts. So four, is our denominator. Now, we're hungry, so we ate one of those pieces, and we're left with three. Three pieces remain, so we have three parts of that whole left, so three is our numerator. Let's talk about the names of the denominators. When there's a two on the bottom of a fraction, we refer to it as a half. When there's a three on the bottom, we call it thirds or a third. And when there's a four on the bottom of a fraction, we call it quarters. Think four quarters make one whole dollar. And when there's a five, we call that fifths. And it continues, six are sixths, seven on the bottom is sevenths, eight as a denominator is eighths, and nine is ninths. And it continues like that, tenths, elevenths, twelfths, etc. Okay, let's look at comparing fractions three-fifths and one-third. Let's take a look at our fraction strips to compare this. Three-fifths and one-third. You can find virtual fraction strips by going to our class website, mrsfairleysclass.com, and click Websites. Then, scroll to Fraction Manipulatives, and there they are. Now, the first fraction was three-fifths, so we're going to take our fifths and bring three up into the bar. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths. And the other one was two thirds. So let's look at our thirds and pull two. One, two. Two thirds is greater than three fifths and you can tell because it goes further along the bar. There's a gap there. So two thirds is greater than three fifths. Let's look at another example. Three quarters and four fifths. Let's see which one is greater by using our fraction strips. The first fraction was three-fourths, or three-quarters, so we'll go to our quarters and we'll pull three. One, two, three. And the other fraction was four-fifths, so we'll head over to our fifths and pull four. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, thanks to our fraction strips, four-fifths is greater than three-quarters, or three-fourths. And we'll represent that here with the greater than, less than symbol. Four-fifths is greater than three-quarters. Another example, three-sixths or one-half. Let's take a look at our fraction strips. Three-sixths was our first fraction, so we're going to pull three of these. Good, three-sixths. Now, one-half was the other fraction, so we can come over to our halves and pull just one. Three-sixths and one-half are the same. We call those equivalent fractions. And because three-sixths and one-half are equivalent fractions, we can place an equal sign between them. Let's look at one more example. Two-quarters, or two-fourths, and one-half. Let's take a look at our fraction strips to compare. Two-quarters was our first fraction, so we'll pull two of these. One, two, and our half. And again, these fractions are equivalent. So we can place an equal sign between them. You may have already known two quarters was equal to a half because two twos or two plus two is four. Two is half of four. This is also clearly represented with fraction circles. This circle on the left is divided into two parts and one of those two parts is colored in. Same thing on the right, except this circle is divided into four parts and two of those four parts are colored in. 
but in both of those cases, half of each circle is colored in. I hope this video helps you understand fraction basics and how to use fraction strips to compare fractions.